What up, boys? Welcome to episode one of Building the Brand. We're going to take you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to build our company, Dude Food, um, and kind of show you the exact journey of what it's actually like to try to build a company in one of the biggest industries in the entire world, which is the meat market. My name is Gary. I'm the CEO and founder of Dude Food. And when I tell most people that I run a company in the meat industry, they're often like, how the hell did you get in this situation? Which is, of course, why we got to start episode one with a little bit of a backstory as to how Dude Food even came about. Long story short, I grew up on a farm uh, back in Wisconsin, moved out to Minnesota here in the Twin Cities for a different opportunity right after the time I got done with high school. And that was also right about the time during COVID. Now, two kind of key things happened during that time, which led to the start of Dude Food. One was I had a ton of people here in the cities fascinated by the fact that I grew up on a farm. They wanted to try farm fresh meat. They wanted to try raw milk from our cows. And to them, it was just the craziest thing ever. To me, it was extremely normal. I grew up in a very rural farm town. Everyone you know, had a farm, worked on a farm, been to a farm, whatever. When you move out to the cities, you realize that is not the case. Most of these people have never even been you know, outside of the, uh, of the state or even been to a farm at all. So for them, it was a very kind of fascinating thing. And they really wanted to eat farm fresh meat. Secondly, that time was also during COVID, which was kind of a blessing in disguise because it showed the huge problem that we have here in America. If you remember during COVID, if you tried to go to the grocery store and buy meat, odds are the shelves were almost completely empty or had extremely limited choices as to what were available. That is because the huge problem we have here in America and really across the entire country or across the entire globe is that over 80% of the meat market is owned by four giant corporations who control almost the entire international supply chain for meat. Now, a couple of these companies got COVID in their plants and had to completely shut down their plants. So completely screwed up the supply chain, just like a lot of other stuff and allowed or did not allow grocery stores to have meat. So because of those two things happening at the same time, I saw the opportunity of people wanting to eat more farm fresh meat, People wanted to eat more healthy, which was a great takeaway from COVID that we're moving towards now. And also my friends and people up here asking for it, but I really had no way to get it besides driving a car back and forth with coolers in it, which was just a complete pain in the ass. So at that time, it just kind of started off as a small thing where we would raise some animals up on our farm. We'd give them to, to neighbors, friends, family, whatever. Once this kind of time came and I saw the promise for that is when we really started Dude Food. Now, the name of Dude Food, people often find funny, stupid or amazing usually in one of those three categories the reason that the name came about was i knew jumping into this industry it was starting to get a little bit crowded but i didn't want to kind of just follow the same boring trends that everyone else was following i didn't want to you know just be gary's meat market or you know um minnesota meats or just kind of some boring name that everybody else picked so that's where we came up with Dude Food, where we figured, hey, let's go after people just like us, people just like me, people just like my friends who are asking for meat, who want to eat farm fresh, healthy meat. You know, they're young guys that want to work out, eat healthy, and lead a healthy life, and always know that they will have a good course uh, or a good supply of meat on their plate. Won't have to worry about getting it from the grocery store. Won't have to worry about if it's actually healthy or filled with fats or, you know, whatever else kind of BS. So that's where the name Dude Food came about. Shortly after seeing kind of the initial success of just using our farm to do it is when I realized we were going to have a supply chain problem next if we didn't find some other partner farms and some other partner people to work with. Over the next couple months, starting on the side at night, just started building up a list of different farms, butchers, all these kind of different things that we could work with who would want to join together that we could essentially buy meat from. Through this process, we actually ended up finding over 150 different farms we work with either directly or indirectly through a butcher shop that we get all of our meat from. We wanted to really bring a lot of transparency in our way we do things because there are a lot of meat subscription box companies out there today. Even a lot of the bigger name ones you hear of who will say things like local or we work with farmers or all that kind of stuff. But truth is, if you really even take, you know, two minutes to look into it, they really don't. They're really doing nothing more than the same thing grocery stores are doing, which is going and buying from these huge suppliers who, you know, indirectly through three different steps, yes, maybe work with an American farmer. So we really wanted to make it as small of a supply chain as possible, as transparent of a supply chain as possible, while still being able to have the capacity to, you know, ship boxes all over the place. Fast forward a little over a year, 
And within under a year, we had shipped meat to every single state in the continent of the U.S., um, excluding Alaska and Hawaii. Sorry if you live in Alaska and Hawaii. We unfortunately can't ship there. Just won't get to you frozen. But we truly kind of proved the benefit and the point that we were trying to make of, you know, there are guys out there who love meat, who want to take care of their bodies, who want to take care of their health, who want to take care of their families, and who really want to know where their meat comes from, what's in it, and that they are eating a truly healthy source of meat. So kind of with that mission, with that branding, and with that transparency, again, we saw a huge initial amount of success from people literally in New York to California, from here in Minnesota, all the way down to Texas, uh, which has been just incredible and amazing to see. Not only is this great for our farmers, but it's also obviously great for our customers and our people who are eating the meat as well, who again, have just seen amazing, amazing results. Our goal with this company is to continue to grow and become one of the most transparent, healthy, and biggest supporters of small family farms here in the USA, because we believe that is how meat should be bought and that is how meat should be eaten. The cool thing about us in here at Dude Food is the more we grow, we will get less corporatized and more local. Meaning the bigger our company gets and the more customer base expands, that means we'll be able to work with even more farmers and get even more local to different parts in the country. So right now we're located here in the Twin Cities, but as I mentioned, we ship meat all across the entire country. Most of our farmers are based here in the Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and the Dakotas, even expanding a little bit uh, into Illinois. So that's enough of this boring ass backstory. Uh, if you're a customer of Dude Food, thank you. We appreciate you if you're following along uh, and just hearing about us for the first time. Welcome to the Dude Food fam. That's gonna conclude it for episode one. See you guys in episode two. Time to get back to work.